Drosera, Allen's Keynotes, Sun Dew, Drosera, Whooping cough with violent paroxysms which follow each other rapidly, scarcely able to get breath. Vex at 6 to 7 a.m. and does not cease coughing until a large quantity of tenacious mucus is raised. Deep sounding horse barking cough aggravation after midnight during or after measles spasmodic with gagging, retching and vomiting. Constant titillating cough in children begins as soon as head touches pillow at night. Nocturnal cough of young persons in thysis, bloody or purulent sputum. Cough, aggravation by warmth, drinking, singing, laughing, weeping, lying down after midnight. During cough, vomiting of water, mucus and often bleeding at the nose and mouth. Sensation of feather in larynx, exciting cough, diseases prevailing during epidemic purchases. Clergyman's sore throat with rough, scraping, dry sensation deep in the fosses, voice hoarse, deep, toneless, cracked, requires exertion to speak. Constriction and crawling in larynx, hoarseness and yellow or green sputa, laryngeal phthysis following whooping cough. Relations complementary to Nux vomica follows well after Sambacus, Sulphur, Veratrum is followed by Calcarea, Pulsatilla, Sulphur. Compare Sina, Coralia, Cuprum, Epicac, Sambacus in spasmodic cuffs often relieves the constant distressing night cuff in tuberculosis. Hanneman says in Materia Medica Pura, one single dose of the 30th potency is sufficient to cure entirely epidemic whooping cough. The cure takes place surely between 7 and 8 days. Never give a second dose immediately after the first. It would not only prevent the good effect of the former but would be injurious. Drosera boric materia medica affects markedly the respiratory organs and was pointed out by Hahnemann as the principal remedy for whooping cough. Drosera can break down resistant to tubercle and should there for be capable of raising it. Laryngeal thesis is benefited by it. Thesis Pulmonum, vomiting of food from coughing with gastric irritation and profuse expectoration, pains about hip joint, tubercular glands, head, vertigo when walking in open air with inclination to fall to the left side, coldness of left half of face with stinging pains and dry heat of right half. Stomach, nausea, aversion to and bad effects from acids. Respiratory organs, spasmodic, dry, irritative cough like whooping cough, the paroxysms following each other very rapidly, can scarcely breathe, chokes, cough very deep and hoarse, worse after midnight, yellow expectoration with bleeding from nose and mouth, retching. Deep hoarse voice, hoarseness, laryngitis, cough, scraping sensation deep in the fosses and soft palate, sensation as if crumbs were in the throat of feather in larynx, laryngeal thysis with rapid emaciation, harassing and titillating cough in children not at all through the day but commences as soon as the head touches the pillow at night clergyman's sore throat with rough scraping dry sensation deep in the fosses voice hoarse deep toneless cracked requires exertion to speak asthma when talking with contraction of the throat at every word uttered I repeat, asthma when talking with contraction of the throat at every word uttered. Extremities, paralytic pains in the coxofemoral joint and thighs, stiffness in joints of feet, all limbs feel lame, bed feels too hard. 
fever, internal chilliness, shivering with hot face, cold hands, no thirst, is always too cold even in bed. Modalities, worse after midnight, lying down on getting warm in bed, drinking, singing, laughing. Relationship, antidote, camphor, compare, fluoroform. 2% watery solution, 2 to 4 drops after paroxysms, considered specific for whooping cough. Dose, 1st to 12th attenuation.